Why is sudden weight loss such a concern for our feline friends? Our own resident vet, Dr. Langwa, explains why in his latest pet health tip. Hello again, everybody. This is Dr. Langwa with your pet health tip of the day, and I'm on location, and by that I mean basically just down the hall at one of our uh, treatment rooms here at the pet pantry, and with me is my buddy here named Tilty. And why is he named Tilty? Well, he has a little bit of a staggering gait and he tilts his head. And also, I'm absolutely atrocious at naming cats. However, there is something far more important that I want everybody to know about our friend Tilty here. And he came to us brought in by a good Samaritan who thought he was hit by a car. And he, he very well may have been, but there was a much greater issue going on with him. And when we first looked at him, we noticed immediately that a lot of his gums and his skin color was very yellow. And that's a sign of jaundice. And what is going on in, the, in Tilty here? It's a condition called hepatic lipidosis, or a lot of times it's known as fatty liver syndrome in cats. And it comes a lot of the time from cats not eating for a period of time. They're basically, the quick way of explaining it is their body starts to break down their own fats, which their liver can't process very well, so it gets these fatty deposits, and it just kind of turns into a downward spiral. The important thing that I want everybody to understand about fatty liver is it's one of the biggest concerns we have, especially adopting shelter cats out, that are particularly obese or overweight, or if you have an overweight cat yourself, you do not want to try to crash diet these cats, which is what some people try to do. They think, oh, we're just going to try to get the weight off really quick. You know, one of those things that humans, you know, say where and you see those commercials where, oh, you can drop five pounds in a week type of thing. You really can't do that with cats. You have to talk to your veterinarian about the proper weight loss program for cats because if you try to drop their weight too quickly you can develop this fatty liver syndrome and it is very very hard sometimes to pull a cat out of hepatic lipidosis once they're in fortunately for tilty here he seems to be responding fairly well you can actually see we actually have a tube in here that is going into his esophagus so that we can actually force feed him the food that he needs because he's not really interested in eating right now but i wanted to make everybody completely aware of that that it is vital that if you have a cat that has not been eating for a couple of days you need to let your vet know just to make sure he's okay but if you have happen to have an overweight or an obese cat that is just yours or that you've adopted or taken in and you do want them to lose weight which is very important you have to do it very slowly and under a very controlled diet program. Un otherwise, you really may run into the problem that uh, our friend Tilty has here, and uh, we don't want to ever see that. Um, it's something that's very, very preventable, and we want to make sure that everybody understands that weight loss has to be done the right way in cats. So hopefully Tilty will continue to respond. He's actually responding very well to his treatment right now and his force feedings, and he's hopefully on the way to recovery, but we're going to keep our fingers crossed. And that is your fatty liver. Hope you never get it. Pet health. Tip of the day. As always, for more information, be sure to pick out any of these wonderful websites, or even better yet, if you want to make sure your cat loses weight the right way, you gotta talk to your local vet.